What's up, guys? I'm about to give you a little update. If y'all hear the TV, just don't mind it. Um, I want to at least try to keep that TV on, and my light on as possible, my conditioner on, because we've been having power outage, outage here. My bad for my words, but uh, my lips is dry. Um, Yeah, I see the 61. This is a car I've been having for years. So this is a pretty old car. This is a replica of my dad's old car. I wish I need to put a little piece of styrene right there. The servos will be moved pretty soon back here, but i just been having trouble, so I'll be pin putting new servos. Those servos be going in something different. Mm, these are some really good servos for power for other cars. Bigger the servos, bigger the power. You have. I need to um, buy some more, but see, this car is not even finished yet. This is this is my dad's car. This is his model car. I got to do the uh, dry shaft, come down on the carriage. This is a replica of his old Impala. Let's put that on the sun. Um, this is for Carlos. Up there in uh, El Paso, Texas. Uh, not the model car though. <laughs> I need a little bit more money for that. How bad for my back area, but... I got those. The one, two, three, four, which that needs to be taken off, which will be super easy. They got this frame. And I can get another frame. Um, cut the sheets out. Everything. If you need another fr frame, let me know. Um, trying to get rid of those bike frame pieces. Because I'm not as much into the bikes anymore, but if uh, if I don't get a bite on it pretty soon, I'll buy I'll be buying steel wheels, handlebars, um, a lot of stuff to get that bike. Uh, get this other bike I'm thinking about working on. I got that bike frame, but I got another one which basically um, I don't have it here. But, um, I have a, there's this dude, this kid, that would sell me his bike frame for about 20 bucks. And I can probably buy that and, um, work on that. Because I'm already planning on buying me, doing a lowrider bike. Um, should have kept my old ones. Not gonna lie, I'm regretting them. Because it would have been some really badass bikes. But um, I just want to let you know, and um, and uh, that's mostly it. But um, some of y'all want to find out what will what will the the cutlass will look like. Been working on a cutlass for a while. Cut this, cut this, cut, cut, it, 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 yes. Cut this, and, um, been working on it, working on it a little, sort of, sort of, sort of. About to have to redo the front lift in the front, basically do the, how I made the front tip, tilt, I gotta work on that a little bit better. Uh, but other than that, it's coming out pretty good, but, um, I want to show y'all what I'm about to be airbrushing pretty soon. Uh, I got to get more paint and more craft stuff for it. Um, got to draw more on it, but here's a sign. Tell you that um, I'm a California person. I love California. I love California. I've been there at least a few times, and it is awesome. I'm not going to lie. Hands down, it is a hundred, hundred zero zero oh, hundred cal, 
California is the best place I would be want to be right now. But um, here you go. Can you see this? Suicide. I always think I need to put the movie position though, but there it is. I'm gonna at least have it hooked on, so I might have to work on that. But, um, maybe, just maybe, might do it as well. I got the flat, got the body work, I gotta stand it. Stuff, I gotta, um, to some of y'all guys know about my old cutlass I used to have. The covering and this is different this yeah I might think I was gonna quit doing it after a while but look I got this one for radical for radical I need to work on a frame it's gonna have actually working expansion hydraulics and I got this one Some of y'all might not know about this one. Bam. Two radicals. Different about this one is, well, this is the thing why I was gonna do on my cut list. Watch this. My old one I used to have. Hold up. not going to be lift up all the way perfectly but um damn well I don't want to lift up at all now uh I can show y'all one side what it looks like. Well, it's left. Y'all might see a little piece of styrene box right there. But, um... It's lift. That's all that counts. And uh, it's gonna have two servos. One for the front, one for the rear. This is gonna be, this is a frame off the body, off the floor pan and everything. I already have all this planned out. I'm about to do the same with this one. Everything, it's gonna have actually this frame, frame and floorboard in there. I'm not gonna use original, so that's why I'm not as much getting too much crazy that. And by the way, I need more paint, so I'm out close as close. But um, I got my own theme. What I'm about to do to this, I got my theme in the trunk. I got my theme in the front. I was going to tilt that front right there. I'm still thinking of doing it, but I got to do the firewall. Just like how this this one I gotta make it flat around finish so this won't be cut it, coming on uh, out undone and this these two might move in the back lift because um I don't want not, nobody seeing those at all I don't mind to see the front because the front's gonna be mocked up but um done that but it's going to have working expansion this um it's going to have hydraulics so the frame will be coming up 
split just by the servos. Um, Marcos Lopez is the first one to do that with off the frame, but he's not the first person to have it. Um, he had it working in the, by the frame lift off, but he's not the first person that's going to have the front hydraulics um, expansion, the front AMs and everything we're in working with hydraulics. That first one, first one. I'm telling you, this is going to have the same. Custom hood and everything. This is another 83. 83 Cutlass. And I had ideas to do roses on this and everything, but it didn't come out as good. So I did some kind of flower looking cloud. But I promise you, working A-arms, working expansion, everything. Crazy. This is going to be one crazy build. Crazy build, just like how some of y'all might think, what the heck? What happened to this one? This one is a 67 chop top. Looks like a sports car. This is a thing what's going to mess you up. Watch this. 67 Apollo. I did not do this. I was going to make the hood a little bit wider. Cut this off. Make it go wider or like finish it. But, um,. I said, you know what? I still got to cut that. I did not build this. I got this from a good friend. So, I'm about to finish it. Hot ride it. Put some uh, craggers on it. And here's my other radical. Some of y'all might know. Um, I love convertibles. Yeah, I still gotta work on that. Alright, y'all see it. Gonna have the mock up, everything, everything's gonna be done. Suicide doors and everything. I'm just waiting until I cast the frame off of this one. If y'all find a 70 Monte Carlo frame anywhere where y'all at, let me know. A model kit. Thinking of doing me another Monte Carlo like that. Even the Cutlass. I still gotta work on a firewall, kind of dip this out around. I'm not too really too sure. I might just go like that around it and stuff, and um, not at least have it touching the engine. The engine's going to be actually going to be ordered. I'm going to buy me an engine for this. But, um, some of y'all might saw my page that I have a, another cutlass with the shark fins. Yes, I do have an, uh, I am going to build that one as well, too. But, um, let me know, guys. And uh, I'm still here. Y'all might just thought I just, hey, I'm a hydraulic dude. Nah, gotta go talk to Carlos from El Paso. He knows me. He might not really care what I didn't really do, but as much I did not really had respect for some people. He he would tell y'all that. I don't really care about if people want to know about my business. But like I said, I don't really have as much care neither, so. See? See? After back in 2000, late 1990s, model cars didn't really do that. But it's going to have working expansion to be hooked to this, everything, dry shaft, everything. This is going to be detailed build. Some people think so I cannot do it since I lost my cutlass, which I'm not sweating about that cutlass. It's long gone, passes the pass. It's a dumb build. Yeah, I don't never need to do a build off. 
which I gotta work, uh, do pink slips for. Don't do it. These model builders will fool you like it was nothing. True model, the uh, true model builders, we don't do that crap. We basically will win the uh, the trophy, um, build off, and we move on with the life. We don't take people's builds. This is why we need the builds, right? And uh, some of these model builders don't have these. Check these out. True spokes. True spokes. Real true spokes. Meet the uh, 63 Summer Madness. Cut doors. I would have showed y'all with them tape. Look. Custom A arms. Custom. Custom homemade rear end. Four link bar up. Looks like a thing of fries to me. Well done. Trunk. I have not even touched the trunk pieces area yet. I'll be getting to that. Then I got this right here. I'm about to be painting. I uh, finished painting this. Fix the doors. Fix the doors, trying to get them separated from the frame. I'll, I'll then try to cut that so it stop rubbing up. But, um, this one came out pretty nice. Cut the hole in the back so I lay low, low to the flow. <laughs> but look, this one opens perfect. Slide in, slide out. Uh, um, got the pattern on top. Took me about two hours and a half. Man, that just blinds me. That blinds me for real. But I got a lot of projects. But. Have a good day. Peace.